I ran to the bathroom, trying to puke it up. I stuck my fingers down my throat, retched and gagged, but nothing came up. I knew I had no choice but to ride this strange torpedo out to the end. Nutmeg, from bechamel sauce to potent psychotropic agent. This little festive favorite does a lot more than just add musky notes of joy to your eggnog. Welcome to Global Food Quest, I'm Jay, and this is your one-stop shop for all the food content you'll ever need, almost. So whether you're into street food or fine dining, Riesling or rum, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell now, and join the adventure. Maristica fragrans, or Maristica, I'm not sure which one. It's a large evergreen tree whose fruit contains a central seed that is the nutmeg. So according to the unitednations.org, Arab physicians have been using nutmeg for its medicinal properties for centuries. It's also mentioned in the Hindu Vedas, which alludes to Indians' use of it since ancient times. The Indian Ministry of Health says today it is still used as an analgesic, as a sedative, an antispasmodic in asthma, and perhaps somewhat more controversially, <clears throat> in small quantities to induce a hypnotic effect in irritable children. Hmm. Libby! So what is the chemical responsible for such proclamations? The chief psychoactive compound to nutmeg is something known as meristocin. Um, it's supposedly structurally similar to the um, amphetamine precursors of MDMA, MDMA being uh, humanity's much loved, very illegal love drug, ecstasy, but its effects are very different. You have been warned. A trip to Erowid.org Psychonaut Vaults reveals an unpredictable, rather unpleasant array of trip reports, such as uh, this little number from Danny Ditchweed, 17. So Danny had run out of weed, and when his man who can couldn't, he decides, and uh, I quote, <clears throat> now was as good a time as any to go on a nutmeg trip. Danny says, I felt lethargic and unable to move. I knew the drug was beginning to take its terrible effect. I put on my clothes and suddenly, like the floodgates had opened, I was more stoned than I have ever been in my life. I felt depersonalized, as though I had a wet towel draped around my head. I knew I couldn't meet B for pot because if I had to go to the pub or socialize, I would probably be committed. Wise choice, Danny. At this point in time, I was pretty sure I hadn't even reached the plateau of the nutmeg yet, and I wasn't liking coming up too much. I ran to the bathroom, trying to puke it up. I stuck my fingers down my throat, retched and gagged, but nothing came up. I knew I had no choice but to ride this strange torpedo out to the end. Danny reports that he finally went to sleep after almost stopping breathing, uh, woke up more stoned than he'd ever been, and convinced his poor, long-suffering mother that he had flu. Again. Now, other reports do mention more psychedelic phenomena, such as a shimmering palm tree, raining down orange musical notes, shining skies, fractals, but for the most part, the, uh, the trip reports are more of a cautionary nature, full hardiness, overindulgence in the spice, and the odd hospitalization. So, in conclusion, nutmeg and its resident compound myristocin are at once both delicious and psychoactive. A psychedelic? Maybe. A deliriant? It would seem so. But with the doses required to achieve these effects, I think we should probably add poisonous to this list of adjectives. So, mums, dads, grannies, gramps, next time you go to bake a cake for Auntie Jane's 70th across the road or some hot cross buns for Easter and the spice cupboard's looking a little bit depleted, ask yourselves this, did I really use a whole jar of nutmeg in those hot cross buns? Or has my dear little Danny Ditchweed 
suddenly developed a penchant for baking. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon for more tales from the cupboard. Wallop.